hey guys got a little video here we we done for you um this is a fence line access road that we're building building it through a really 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 swampy area actually about where the excavator's at now is where you've seen us recover the skid steer uh, some time back so it's extremely wet here um, i got dusty he's shuttling in good feel like a road base feel best thing we could get our hands on he's bringing it to me um, and we're, we're building a road as we go. You can see how soft it is there. The loader's really bogging. Um, you got to really be careful coming in there. We've probably got our fill. I'd say it's probably three foot thick at this point right here. Um, we didn't remove all of the sticks and under matting because it was it's basically a swamp, and it would have cost the customer, I don't know, another, well, it probably would at least double the dirt maybe tripled it so we all collaborated on it decided that we would be okay with a few inches of road settlement over time to save that extra money So you can see it's here, we're heading down a hill. Um, it's, it's a very steep hillside that we're working on. Um, it's hard to tell in the video, but it is. You gotta ease down, it's really soft. The dirt's pretty wet when we're putting it down. And that's one reason you see the machine squishing. And when you get off of it and leave it, you come back the next day, it's usually a lot better. So you're fixing to see here in this video right right there you see the level the bucket out and set it down in the ruts um, we found out that if you try to just tote the dirt in a lot of times it would bog the loader down and it didn't want to slide in the bucket though it really helps a lot man you're doing good Shaking rounds, I'm done. Point it down. Point, point your spreader down and suck it. There you go. Shake the seed to the end. There you go. We get the last little bit. Hey, now you got to remember where you was at. Some kind of. Way. All right, let's go back and get you some more seed, brother. Trying something a little different here. This is a spoiler alert, so I'm gonna show you the finished product now. Um, I know some people won't watch to the end if I don't, so hopefully this will pique your interest and make you watch and see how we got there. Okay, right where the dog's at, where the dog's at, it's the exact spot that we had to recover the skid steer. An improvement for sure since then. Right about where he's at now is where, where we were stuck at. We're making this road to, so the man could access the back half of his property and his fence line. But uh, we think it turned out real nice. And this millet's only been out about a week. This brown top millet and it's already coming up nice. So we hayed the road and then we put the millet out and then we slagged it. So yeah, nice, nice road gonna last a long, long time. Back half of the road. Check out the millet, it's already coming up, brown top millet. Might, some people might call it a summer rye or something. Cool old dog. Dog right there hunts all day. The whole time you're here, he's hunting. Okay, here's, here's a drone flyover from the start, the top side of the road, right on through. Um, just to give you an idea of what it turned out like. And we, we put the hay down on the banks to, to stop any kind of erosion. 
on the sides and then the millet in this in this drone footage has not started yet so yeah right there's where most of the loader loader squeezing down in the mud footage is is right actually right where we're at right now and we're coming up on the little old ditch so we, we was able to leave that tree on the left and tie it into the road it looked cool and this is where the culverts went we put them in this little ditch here it turned out really good so having a hard time flying the drone in here it's uh, a lot of wind and here's the aerial from the back side for some reason i didn't fly the drone all the way down that road i don't know why i didn't i apologize yeah so this is the back side of the road we're headed back towards the truck and uh right there's where the culverts are and you can see the tree on the right so now we're we're kind of headed back uphill back to the start i mean we we really couldn't be happier with how this road turned out it turned out really really nice really nice it's hard to imagine guys but you couldn't walk physically could not walk on your feet through this place before we started with this road it uh it was that bad yeah you were bogged to your waist and uh and you couldn't get out so i'm going to speed the video up here and you've seen the finished product if you're interested in how we got there please watch the video comment on it like it all that stuff really helps with youtube for some reason my my view time and my views have fell off um, I feel like the videos have gotten a little better, but for whatever reason, YouTube is just burying me. Um, so, guys, if you could engage these videos, it would really help me out. I'm not going to quit because I like it, but I'm not real sure why my view times fell off. So, if you could do me a huge favor, hit the like, maybe leave a comment, that would be amazing. We're definitely going to keep making videos, though even though the the views are way down that, that's like i said we like doing it it's a good resume for the business so we're going to continue to do it um we're definitely not complaining or anything like that we don't want to give out the wrong vibe we're just asking if if you've enjoyed any of this please engage it um with a with a thumbs up thumbs down even would be good um, or any kind of comment and that that's also great So we're not used to having a loader. This is a rented loader, so this is kind of new to us. But I sent Dusty to get the culverts, and uh, he's like a man on a mission. Explain to me what you got going on here. Hauling coal. Huh? Hauling coal. What kind of what kind of rig have you got here? Hold on. What do you call this? The way you got them strapped? Uh, <laughs> hey, oh. is, we can only use a minute here. Sir. Cross brace. <laughs> this kind of gives you an idea how wet it actually was the dirt that we had coming in there the water under everything we were working on um it was very wet so what we would do we would we would blow this road out all the dirt in there just like this with ruts and uh when it got real real bad we'd pull it all back in with the excavator and compress it and start again and, and it winds up really packing the fire out of it so when, when something's wet like that, it's aggravating to work it, but you know, once it actually dries, you wind up with a very, very well compacted road or pad or whatever you're working on. So wet material does, does make it more difficult to work, but the silver line is it will be very hard, very packed when it does start to dry out. So I'm walking through these ruts. You can kind of get an idea how deep they are. Um, yeah that rut's probably two and a half foot deep right there so dusty's coming along behind me with the with the loader and i'm flying the drone kind of got myself in a tight right there because he flew under me and the vines and the trees i didn't think i was gonna have the clearance and i didn't even think he seen the drone so i thought he was gonna hit it but some kind of way he didn't you can see there the loader struggle even the loader struggling try to get through there um the winds whipping i mean we just had us a mess i actually let the drone hit a tree one time so luckily it didn't break it it just uh, it just knocked it out of the sky they're actually pretty tough thank goodness i've 
crashed them several times. They don't like to be crashed in the water, though. That's bad. The loader is really pretty amazing. The articulation part of it, how, how well it actually pulls. Um, it's way better than something with traditional steering. You can kind of you can kind of manipulate the steering on the loader and it'll it'll keep on going way beyond something that's got traditional steering. I could definitely see a loader being something that we will purchase in the future. We like to try to own our equipment if possible, but yeah, loader is definitely on the list now. So if we get a big job, we'll we'll grab us a loader. So here's the stockpile. And this is where we were stocking the dirt and, uh, and hauling in from here. So I'm sure you're getting the point here. So a bunch of trips with the loader. Um, it's a 544, so it's, I think it's about a three yard bucket is what was on it. Um, so it, it makes pretty short work of it, but it still takes some time. And we got the little 88, it's sitting in here. And uh, as the loader brings it, we're just transferring it and placing it. And one reason we're doing this is because you can't get the loader in there without getting it stuck. But the other, the other benefit to actually handling the dirt with the excavator is you just make a lot better use of it and you get it where it needs to go a lot better. So a little bit, uh, a little bit extra time there, but make a lot better use of your product. And in, who knows, in the end, it probably is an extra time when, you, when you're not getting the loader stuck. So that's all the footage I got, guys, is the same stuff here. Us transferring dirt. I mean, it's new footage coming up, but it is just transferring dirt. I eventually had to go get the dozer because the loader kept destroying the road. Once we got the dirt moved in, I went and got the dozer and uh, pulled everything back in and put a, put a slick finish on it with the dozer. I did not get video of that. Um, I apologize, but I did not. Um, and then I didn't get video of us putting the slag down. Dusty done that when I was gone, um, or for the most part I was gone. So I didn't get video of that, but you at least got to see the finished product. You got to see some of the process. And it was a pretty good little job. You know, we, we was there, I think, week, something like a week and a half. But uh, so it was enjoyable. We liked it. Real happy with how it turned out. Thanks for watching, guys. That Easton hanging out with me in the dozer. He's just sitting on the floor while I'm, while I'm pushing. Good help. Man, you're doing good. I had to shake it around sometimes. Point it down. Point point your spreader down. And it'll it'll there you go. Shake the seed to the end. There you go. And you get the last little bit. Hey, now you got to remember where you was at some kind of way. All right, let's go back and get you some more seed, Bubba. Back half of the road. Okay, right where the dog's at. Where the dog's at is the exact spot that we had to recover the skid steer with the excavator a few weeks ago. So, made an improvement for sure since then. So right about where he's at now is where, where we were stuck at. You know, we're making this road to, so the man could access the back half of his property and his fence line. But uh, we think it turned out real nice.